Alright, so here's how to get to those stupid spark plugs on these 4.3s. So now I'm going to thread this one back in without breaking it, and then I'm going to get on it with a wrench. So, I'll show you before I get that. So you wonder why they make these spark plug sockets with these ends on them? That is a 19 millimeter. And so you can get, you can put the socket up in there with limited room and put a wrench on it and turn the socket with a wrench. Because you cannot, there's no way you can get a 3 8 inch drive or anything on there. So you just got to put the wrench in there and just turn it a little tiny bit at a time, being careful not to put too much pressure on it either way and crack, crack spark plug like this one. So that's how you do the stupid spark plugs on these things. And the other side I'm hoping is going to be just as be a little bit easier on this side because it won't have the steering arm in the way. So that's how you do spark plugs on a 4.3 01S10 with a 4.3 Vortec. It's a pain in the rear. I took the bolt out of here that holds that in place. Turns out it's a 7 16 bolt. Take that out. Hammer. Make sure you mark your shaft somewhere so you can get it back in the same position so your steering wheel stays straight. And then just hammer the shaft off and it'll get up and out of the way far enough. And it's on a, a slide. you got to take this little piece of plastic off here. It's really easy. It covers up that uh, uh, coupler down there. You just pop those two plastic clips out and it just slides right off. No big deal. And then... You can see now we have perfect access to that spark plug, so now I can get it back in. Ah, what an adventure. I didn't want to crack it like I cracked the other one there, so I had to do it and do it right. Right there.